Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Mountain Cabin. I'm Eric Perkins. We're gonna start today with a couple of announcements, just like a church, so you guys know what's going on. First off, we are almost done with the Mountain Cabin Project, and in reality, it is actually done. These videos are behind a little bit, so we have a couple more. There's great stuff to come, but bottom line is, we're glad to be out of there. Thanks for sticking with us through that whole series. And second, we're gonna move on to our remodel project next. And you guys have been asking, yes, we are continuing on that. We were just waiting on the cabinets to arrive locally so that once we demolished their kitchen, they weren't waiting for months and months for the new cabinets to arrive. So we've got a couple videos on that. And then we're moving to a brand new project, building a short-term rental in town on my brother's property, a small Airbnb. So that's gonna be really fun and different, not our normal thing. And lastly, the tool belts are here. I have 75 of each size, so you can order those. There's a link in the description to the website where you can order them. If you don't get in as one of the first 75 of each size, you'll be just pre-ordering. I love the belt and they're about half the price of the other premium brands for a similar setup. I think you'll love them too. And that's it, that's all the announcements. Let's get into the video. And yes, I have a mustache uh, for some reason. My wife hates it. Jamie's at the shop today, but he needs to build the railings that are gonna fit out here. So I'm gonna take some measurements and then I'm gonna cut little scrap pieces of wood basically and make sure that my measurements are accurate, like it's actually gonna go in. That way when he builds it at the shop and brings them out here, they'll fit. <laughs> because sometimes when you take a measurement, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit, right? No. Uh, so I, I think that's a good pro tip. If you're gonna actually build something off site, Make some sort of a template, like a, a hard piece of wood. Make sure it goes. That's your number. Three quarters, tough. <laughs> so Jay, I may yeah. have to get you to feed the choir. I don't know, we're gonna have to both like hold it. Um, actually, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's see. Dude, that, there's no way that's going through that hole. What size hole did it say to drill? Inch. That's an inch and three eighths I drilled. Why are you drilling an inch? Oh, that's what I drilled? Does <laughs> <laughs> this come loose from here? Can I, I mean, if that could fit in the center of the hole, but that part's not in the center of the hole. <laughs> the thickest part is on the outside. There, it's the hole right there. Ah! Dude, there's no way that's going through there. Ah, oh, that's what it says. I can't even get the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is how it's gonna go today. I, I gotta... Can that Come on, bro. Dude. How not to chuck it. There you go. 
how not to chuck a bit up. <laughs> Doing a great job. Dude, I'm a bad done your yoga. All right, going up with it. What are you doing? <laughs> are you hitting the? Are you hitting the screws? Oh, I didn't even know you had those in. The washers aren't. All right, I'm not in any of mine. <laughs> it's a beautiful design. The way they made this easy to go in. All right, hold yours. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go forward. I feel like the numbers they gave me aren't right. I feel like this isn't All right, gonna line I'm in. up. You're like bang tight. I'm like a quarter inch off. All right, just put this thing right here. Round two, let's go round three. Here's what's messing us up. Our opening that's supposed to be 30 exactly is like 30 and 3 16 And this thing that's supposed to be 30 exactly is like 29 and 3 quarters. So there is like quarter plus 3 16 of difference mm -hmm. that's messing everything up. So we're just gonna try to split the D so this thing is centered with like an eighth and an eighth a gap. Installing hood range. Take, take three. Take three. Well, I feel like I've moved this too much now. Because I are you on? I'm on. Let me look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting easy. weird. Things are getting weird. Just don't start whispering in my ear when you do that. <laughs> He's still thinking about me talking about cuddling all this time. Okay, it's not gonna go. Can just measure. Oh, now I'm in. Oh, now I'm not. I was taking mine out. Oh. Installing hood cabinet, <laughs> take four. See, here's the deal. If I wasn't expecting this to suck, if I thought it was gonna be easy, I'd be real mad right now. All right. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Let's take just a second to thank our sponsor for this episode, Howl's Pro. And they've been a long-term partner of our channel. We really appreciate that. If you don't know, Howl's Pro is a all-in-one business solution for builders, remodelers, contractors, and designers. It can really help you out, and today we're going to talk about the 3D Floor Planner tool. It's a very easy to use, but still very powerful tool that can help your clients visualize and get excited about their project. It can be used to create 2D models that are to scale as well as 3D models of your client's home. And this is really cool. You can quickly measure any room with your phone in the scanning feature in the Howl's Pro app. Then just add windows and doors and save, and it's really that easy. And if you already know your room dimensions or ceiling height, or you wanna edit your scan, you can just enter them directly. Then you can choose from a wide range of real world product models, including appliances, furniture, light fixtures, and more, and put them into your drawing. These items are all resizable to match your plan, and there's tons of kitchen options as well, which is really fun. And of course, you can always share a floor plan, 3D plan, or a dollhouse view with your client. If you wanna try a house pro for yourself, it's totally free to try. There's a link down in the description of our video and a phone number that'll take you where you need to go to get going. Thanks again to House Pro and let's get back to work.
these are some of the extra parts that we had for the over the range hood that we don't need because we're not venting in either of these ways. We're venting with a six inch round. One thing I've learned, pro tip, get rid of these things if you're the builder. So I'm gonna throw them in the trash now because if you throw them in the cabinet, doesn't matter who the homeowner is, they're gonna find these later. Like they might've lived here six months, find them, they're gonna call me and ask, uh, how come you didn't put my range hood pieces in? And a lot of these things come from multiple setups. That's what these are. They will never use them. They will only be using the six inch round vent like we have. These won't work on any other unit. Trash, pro tip. Yo, oh, wow. Yeah. That's so scary. Uh oh, there is a pipe back there. No. <laughs> yeah. Did you just hit it? No. It's There's a, a pipe it's, there? It's a drain line. We're gonna have to move yeah. over. Mm. So it's it's actually I'm right on the edge of it. Right there. Mm hmm So if we just go. So I'm gonna basically redraw my circle with that being the edge. Good thing we didn't start hacking away. <laughs> Good thing I didn't just do a sawzall. <laughs> just gonna like carve a moon shaped thing right out of the side of the drain line. Whoops! <laughs> Have you guys always been carpenters or what? You just made me like a prison knife <laughs> to, uh, to to cut out this drywall. That's a makeshift keyhole saw. And uh, you could probably get a lot of money for that in certain places. <laughs> a couple packs of smokes at least. Yeah. You might have to repaint that. Yeah, I was just gonna say, remember when I talked about me just painting this thing? <laughs> Okay, I think we're good there. Hey, if you do a couple more, we can just make the Olympic symbol. <laughs> Audi. It's an Audi wall. Ooh. All right. She clear. So this does have a flange, too, that we can yeah, kind of install. It. Right now, I'm seeing if I can turn this and it has that sharp edge and just cut a circle chunk out of the insulation instead of making a big mess out of it. No way. It might work. You think? It might. I got pretty good pressure on it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I gotta go a little more. So, wow. <laughs> Never seen that move before, I have you? Guess. Yeah, I don't want to rip a big chunk out of there because it'll just leave, you know, a void. It's yeah, it's a cookie is. cutter. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. We're all the way, look, all the way to the sheathing. Perfect. Perfect hole. <laughs> if you're wondering why there's a gap, it's because we furred this wall out like an extra two inches on the inside. So that, that insulation is like normal, full thickness. Boots with the fur. Yeah. Wow! There it is. There it is. Through. Once there's gutters on here, it won't be dripping everywhere. Let's go trace this, center it up by eye. All right, I'm gonna cut all the way to the side of the hole and just see if I'm near the pipe. Hey, Ray Ray, you're gonna have to like beat on the wall if I'm about to do something bad. Because we you can't... Siri call Ray Jones? What are you saying? <laughs> You're going to have to just beat on the wall if we're getting ready to hit something. Okay, I'll leave this window and yell at you. Okay, how are we looking? Answer your phone. i got about another inch to go. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Making a little, we, oh, hey, oh, boom, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, that looks great. Okay, oh, yeah, Let's see if I can get a little more before I push it the rest of the way. Just kind of right here, too. 
just to keep water from getting behind it ever. Okay. And this is paintable, by the way. Ah! <laughs> is that my drill in the mud? You were saying D Walt tough, I mean. I know how you put her to the test. I know how you put mine in the dirt and then put yours on top of mine. <laughs> yeah, so that were, is, I, they were like sitting I, on top I of put mine. It like that. <laughs> so that they didn't get dirty and mine's all up in the mud. That's why you never loan your tools out right there. <laughs> yeah. He's got some lungs wow, on Wow, he does. <laughs> that's impressive. You can tell he doesn't smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's Thank you so much for checking out our video today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something or at least had a great time. If you did, please remember to get subscribed to our channel and give us a thumbs up. That helps YouTube to know that you're enjoying the content and they should recommend it to other people. Hope you have a great day and thanks for building with us. Oh yeah. That's the face of focus right there. What was I doing? Just making an awesome face, like you're really working hard. Sure. <laughs>